Hey, what's up YouTube? Today I'm going to show you how to replace the hard drive in your early 2011 MacBook Pro. Um, this video will actually apply to more than just the early 2011 MacBook Pro. The specific one I work on in this video is a 13 inch and this will also work on the 15 inch as well. So um, check out this video. I'm going to walk you through all the steps that you need to take in order to take your old hard drive and copy it onto the new hard drive as well. Now after you have shut down your MacBook Pro and disconnected the power, you'll want to remove the back panel by unscrewing all of these individual screws. Once all the screws are out, go ahead and pull off the back cover carefully. Now we're going to want to unscrew these two screws here that are holding the hard drive in. They don't completely unscrew, so you just want to loosen them. Once both screws are loosened, you can pull up on this little bracket here and put that off to the side. Now it's time to remove the hard drive. Go ahead and pull up on this little plastic tab here. Then you'll want to go ahead and remove this little connector here. Once you're done unwrapping your new hard drive, you can locate the four screws on the side of the old hard drive and remove them. You'll need a T6 Torx Once those four screws are removed from the old hard drive, you can now relocate them to the new hard drive. Alright, next up it is time to carefully reinstall your new hard drive by first connecting it back to the motherboard here, and then dropping it back into place you'll notice the two screws that are closest to us that we just installed will carefully go into uh, mounting holes in that little black piece on the edge of the case there just carefully drop it in there and then lower it and now we can go ahead and put our bracket back in to safely secure our new hard drive. Make sure you tighten those two screws back up and if your back cover is dirty or dusty just take a little Windex or cleaner and give it a once over before you reinstall it. And now you can screw the back cover back on. I don't really need to go through this. If you took it off you know exactly how it goes back on. Now take your old hard drive and place it into an external hard drive enclosure. We're going to reconnect the power to the MacBook and we're going to connect the old hard drive via that hard drive enclosure via USB. We're going to power on that old hard drive. We're going to boot the MacBook and we're going to hold down the option key while we're booting it. Holding down that option key is now going to give us the option to boot from the external hard drive, which is our old hard drive. This message basically is telling you that the hard drive installed is unreadable. Just ignore that. Open up your applications, go to Utilities, and then click on Disk Utility. Now you'll want to carefully pay attention and make sure that all of the settings that I'm doing right now are exactly what you have before you proceed for any step. So just double check. Click on the Partition tab, 
and you'll want one partition and you'll want to change the name of your hard drive to whatever you want the new hard drive name to be. Make sure you have Mac OS Extended Journaled selected and then click on Options and make sure you have GUID Partition Table selected. Hit OK and then click Apply. And then hit Partition. You can close Disk Utility and go to Google and you'll want to search for a program called Carbon Copy Cloner. You'll want to download Carbon Copy Cloner and we're going to use that for the next section of this video. Find out where your download is located, open it up, and install Carbon Copy Cloner. In here, you'll want to select your old hard drive and your destination hard drive will be your new hard drive. Make sure you have temporarily archive modified and deleted items selected and then you can go ahead and click on clone. Once you hit clone you're gonna wanna open the disk center and then click on create a recovery partition for this volume. Click OK and go back to your main window here and select again your new hard drive as the destination and click clone. Click OK. And you're pretty much in the home stretch right now. You can quit out a carbon copy cloner. You'll want to go into system preferences and click on startup disk. Basically, what you're telling the MacBook Pro is to start on the new hard drive from now on. So from here, we're going to restart and once the MacBook is shut down, right before it restarts, just disconnect your old hard drive via USB. And that's it. Your new hard drive will install. Thanks for watching. Be sure to thumbs up this video if I helped you out. And be sure to subscribe so I know to make more videos like this.